Hello, Pisces Twin Flames. This is Jennifer, and I am an empath psychic, data healer, twin flame, and shaman. And I'm here today to bring you a special reading for Pisces Twin Flames. Oh, I put a candy in my mouth. That is not going to work. All right. So... I have shuffled all the cards. I have meditated. I have drawn in source, angelic, and divine masculine collective energy for guidance. You did have one card fly out. I'm going to take it as the overall energy, which is Lemuria. It has come up in all of the readings so far. This is my fourth reading. So I'm just going to Take it as your main overall energy. I'm going to start to shuffle and channel some of the energy that's coming through. <clears throat> so Pisces is the 12th sign of the Zodiac. I consider the Zodiac to be a reincarnation wheel. And I do believe that um, Pisces are old souls and very evolved. I myself have a Pisces moon in the 10th house. Um, and I do believe that many Pisces are star seeds and um, carry Lemurian energy with uh, in their um, DNA. I personally hold the belief that Twins are light workers here to raise the physical vibration of this planet. Um, in working with Gaia to restore a template of non security based unconditional love, which means. Um, not based in fear. Not based in the fear template. I don't know why they're having me draw so many cards for you, but they are. So we're going to go with it. Uh, I'm not really getting an overall energy like I have for the last three piles. And they're telling me it's because um, this group is particularly diverse. Um, right now, the masculine collective that's dealing with Pisces, they're saying that um, they feel like they're in a strong current that is a little bit hard to escape for them at the moment. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll go ahead and look at your cards and see what comes through. Have protection. Interesting. And... Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, and Teacher. And I do believe a lot of twins um, were the high priestesses and priests of Atlantis. Nightingale Spirit, Love, all, love is All Around. Moth Spirit, Surrender Now. Owl Spirit, You See Clearly Now. So this is a very divine guardian card for me. We have Marco, who represents the highest galactic confederation of our solar system, the capital of which is on Saturn. So this is very interesting. He assists Hilarion on the fifth ray of technology, science, and knowledge. It enables people to expand their higher mental abilities. So you have some kind of swords energy coming through. And you have Saturn Capricorn energy coming through. Thoth, who of course is the high priest of Atlantis um, and is believed to have led that tribe to South America. Hilarion, um, also Saturn energy coming through. He steps his energy down through the Temple of Truth over Crete. And um, again, the fifth ray of technology, science, and truth. So that's coming through very, very, very strongly for you. We have the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Mother Mary, love and peace. I wouldn't be surprised if the Jesus came in this 
We have Kuthumi, Cloak of Wisdom. So you have lots of Cloaks of Wisdom, Rays of Wisdom. We have Beige, Quiet, Gentle, Neutral, Respite, and Service, Pink, Playful, Innocent, Bubbly, Lighthearted, and Kind. We have King of Swords in Reverse, King of Wands in Reverse, Two of Swords, Upright, Ten of Wands, reversed interesting interesting it does look like this is a very um advanced group here more advanced than the others so far that i've done a farther along on their journey they did have me pull out this amazon amazonite um crystal to go with the lemurian card and they were talking about how that might be um a nice crystal for you to use during this three month period so it's really interesting because, <clears throat> right, you have the Ouroboros here around his head and it's showing how things all come full circle, right? And it's really interesting in these cards here, the beige and the pink, I kind of see this two sides of this group where you're very serious and Striving to fit in the beige card reminds me of like khaki pants that people would wear to work at a very conservative office. And then you have this pink, which is reminds me of like a bubblegum pink that kids would blow bubbles with. Super, it's like innocent, and playful and lighthearted and kind. And it does kind of, there's a lot of pink around here, but it does kind of draw me to this card of like you're kind of in these two these two this choice of either being trapped in your mental mental expertise is the word that's coming through or choosing to be passionate again Passionate in a way that is aligned with spirit. Um, aligned not in a way of, you know, finding success through AYZ. It's a really strange reading for Pisces because generally Pisces are not like that, but some are. Um is that you're stepping into surrendering in love and the magic of wisdom of your heart of in sort of in a way where you're where you're marrying um this Saturn discipline with this Atlantean Lemurian magic. It's it's a little bit mystical. In fact, it's very mystical because what it's calling for you to step into is this kind of becoming a teacher of of beauty, but also becoming someone that can birth stellar wisdom onto the planet new new templates of love that are where inventions are based on the highest good of all humanity because that's what pisces does they sacrifice for the good of the collective so you are you do feel this burden on your heart i and what it's asking you to do is let go of the need to be right simply let go of the ego i do see a tremendous dissolving of the ego a five a seven and a three so you have a three five and a seven in these cards and that there's a lot of protection in this 
in fact, it shows the seven. Uh, so this for me is showing me the seven sisters of protection. And the seven sisters is the Pleiades. So you may have some links to the, you may be bringing in knowledge from the, um, the Pleiadians. This is quite a esoteric reading here. But the Holy Spirit is asking you to remember that only love is real and miracles will only occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So you have three cards of protection here. And if you're feeling vulnerable in this shift, just know that this is high, high level protection. This is, I mean, don't be foolish with your entire life, but do follow you know, you are going to have to make this decision between your head and your heart. And right now, it looks like you are resisting both of them. And both of them are equally present in this reading. There's, you're wearing cloaks of wisdom um, that you came here, you know, to help seed on the earth. And this is high level information that's creating heaven on earth. You know, this is what you came for. You came to change these things. And everything in these cards is calling you to step out and follow this guidance. You know, I am open to wisdom from the stars. Let go of the need to be right. Only love is real. You know the answer you seek. So this is already inside of you. And you're feeling the call. You're feeling the call from the ancient wisdom that you hold. And as a Pisces, you know, I have a, I have a Pisces pendant over there. Um, you do have these two fish, right? Swimming in opposite directions. And... They're both equally a part of you. So remember to be kind, to be gentle, to always return to your innocence and service because we are here to serve. That is the light worker tradition. That is the twins mission. Um, and in these cards, you have a 46, 47, and 31. So you have... A 5, um, an 11, which is a 2, and a 10. So you do have a progression, you do have a completion, and you do have two 5s on the board. And right now I don't feel like your masculine is playing too much of a role in this decision. In fact, I feel you being quite, quite independent, um... But just know that when you decide which path you're going to go on, they will be supporting you very completely. All right. And they are also calling you if you feel guided to work with the Lemurian crystals. Um, just find one that calls to you. I have many of them. Each is different. But. That may help you in your meditation. All right, I hope this served you. Um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and um, commenting, and check back. I'll be doing some other fun readings like this soon. Thanks, bye, much love.